So with that out of the way, uh, I'm going to introduce you to the concept of how functional is done in Java and the idea of something called a Lambda expression. I'm going to put these classes and interfaces aside for a moment, and I'm going to go over a brief exercise with you, and we're just going to sort of skim the surface today just to kind of whet your appetite, and then I'm going to let you in the lab. So what we're going to do now is uh, we're going to uh, set up a, a demo class here, and inside the demo class, and I'm going to put my main method here, and I'd like you to follow along with me and do this. In here, uh, what I would like you to do is uh, we're going to create a method uh, called greet. Now, as I mentioned to you, this lecture is taken from uh, the, Java, uh, the Java Brains YouTube course, and I'm repeating a lot of the examples that he does in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a method uh, called greet. And uh, what I'm going to do inside my main method, and this method is very simple, it just says hello. And inside my main method is uh, I'm going to ask you to create an object and to call the greet method. You know what? Let me change this. Let me change this to say uh, greeter. Uh, we'll call this the greeter class. I would like you to create an object of type greeter and call the greet method and run it. Please do that now. Okay, Mr. Amrani, how do I create a greeter object, sir? Okay, and now, Mr. Uh, Amrani, sir, how do I call the greet method? Okay, like that. So let's just run this, and there is my hello. So, so far, nothing uh, that fancy. Now, let's uh, make this a little bit more complicated. Let's say that um, I want to create different types of greeters. Uh, maybe this is like an American greeter, and then... Um, uh, maybe we have a different one that's like Australian who says good day instead of hello, like that, right? So uh, one way we could do that is uh, we could uh, create an interface uh, called greeting. And so let's do that for a second. So I'm going to come up here and uh, we're going to create a, um, an, a new interface. And I'm going to call it the greeting interface. And uh, there's my greeting interface. And uh, I'm just going to have a single method in here. And this method is going to be of type void. Uh, we're going to call it the, the perform, perform method. And it's going to basically say the greeting. Uh, I don't think we need any parameters. So I think that should be sufficient for creating a greeting interface like that. And uh, what we want to do now is uh, we want to go back to our greeter class right over here and we want to we want to modify this code now uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to have it take a parameter it's going to take as a parameter a greeting object so we're going to go greeting greeting uh, greeting like that and now in here what we're going to do instead of calling the print method directly we're just going to go greeting dot perform like that so just as a reminder i have this greeting interface now and i can create objects of that interface type right and so i'm going to call this perform method and it's going to do this for me and what i want to do over here now is i want to create an object uh, or, or a separate class uh, of type greeting right so uh, what I'm going to do over here is I'm going to create a American greeting uh, class, right? So I'm going to go American greeting, uh, this thing, and just to make sure you're following along, what do I need to put over here to make sure it meets all the requirements of doing greeting? Miss Mila? Okay, I'm going to do implements greeting. And then as soon as I do that, the compiler will start complaining that I haven't implemented the method. Okay, Ms. Teleska, you help me uh, write this method. Always a good thing to do. There we go, like that. Okay, and now let's make sure this compiles. Yeah, okay. And then let's go back to our main code and uh, please try to figure out how to modify the main method now so that it works with our new code structure. So we need to make some modifications to the main method to make our new code structure work. Mr. Alejandro, sir, what, what do we need to add over here now? What do you want to call it? AG, okay. 
Okay, and then what should we have to do over in here, sir? And let's run this again. And you can see it does the same thing. Okay, now what we want to do is we want to just have a brief look at this code that we've created. And we want to discuss it a little bit. Now, one of the big differences between Java and C or C++ and C are that Java and C++ are built to be object-oriented languages. And what that means is that the entire language is built around the concept of nouns. It's not really built around the concept of verbs or methods. In fact, inside Java, if you have a method or a piece of functionality that executes, it always belongs inside a class. What that means is you don't really have any methods that stand alone. Everything's inside a class. Now, there are a lot of languages, in fact, most languages aren't like that. Like you look at Python, if you want to print something, you don't need to create a class in Python to print something. You just print something. Or you can create a method and call it if you want. You don't have to have classes and objects necessarily. The whole idea behind Java and C++ is the reason you want to have these objects is you want to encapsulate your data, you want to guard your data from other outside objects that might accidentally come in and touch it. And this paradigm has served us well. But here's the problem, and here is the, the nuance that I'm hoping to kind of give you today that we can exploit next time more sufficiently. But sometimes, like here, for example, we want to create this, this greeter. And what we really want to do is right in here, we want to pass some functionality to the greeter that we want the greeter to execute for us. Now, to do that in Java right now, this is Java version 7 that I've essentially implemented. What I have done is I've had to create an interface. Then I've had to uh, create an object of that interface type. And then I had to pass that object here to the greet method to have it know what to execute. Now, that's an awful lot of work that we're doing when what we really want to do is we want to take a piece of functionality or a method per se, and we want to pass that method around and, and give it to another method to say, here, execute this code for us. That, that's what we want. And up to Java version 7, we couldn't do that. Another way to think about this, another way to think about this is I want you to imagine that we have you know, we have variables in Java, right? So we have like a variable like this. We have in x equals seven. And then we might have like, um, we might have like string s equals uh, abc, like that, right? Um, but what does it mean in Java if we do this, for example? Let's say I go double uh, y equals um, abc, like that. W what does this mean in Java? W what does that mean? Mr. Sorry, what does that mean? Okay, this means that we, we have some method called ABC. We execute it. It returns a decimal number, and then we're going to save that decimal answer in Y. That's what this means. But now I'm suggesting a different sort of syntax. I, I don't want Y to refer to the return value of ABC. I want Y to refer to the ABC method itself. You see the difference, right? I want to say, y is going to be a pointer to a bunch of code that sits inside abc that that's the that's the new thing that i want to do and why is that useful that's useful because it, it, if i have this y and it it points to a bunch of code then i can pass y around as a parameter and i can pass it around as if it's a noun even though it's really a verb you see that now, in, in English, you could impress your English teacher with this. Do you know, like, if you take a verb like running and you tr treat it as a noun, that's got a special name in English. Does anybody know what that's called? Yes, sir. It's a gerund. That's right. Very good, sir. It's a gerund. A gerund is when you use a, a verb, use it as a noun. Like, if you say running is my favorite sport, in that sentence, running is a noun. Normally, running is a verb, but in that sentence, it's a noun. So we want to draw the analogy here where we want to take a noun. In this case, y is a noun. Clearly, it's an object, right? Or in this case, it happens to be a primitive. But um, let us I'll, I'll just refer to this as some generic type here. 
that we don't know what that is. I'll explain what that is next time. But it's it's an object, right, of this type. It's an object of this type. And instead of instead of holding a value that's the return value from a from a method, we want it to we want it to hold some code. We want it to hold some code. So that's basically the general idea. 